Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter Fear God, keep his commandments For this is the whole duty of man Amen It's been Yehuda man High levels bro, high as could be Word the rise to far right is a highland me Every morning when I wake up spend time on my knees no sneezing necessary, the blessings received Who lesser than me? Not a soul We all got it and passed on it like common codes I got tired of blowing it like a snotty nose When will he return? Nobody knows So I plant my seed daily and water the field There's a lot of people out here ignoring the real Putting money before him wasn't part of the deal So I was being popular for a part of his meal Feed me, Ezekiel, no Elliot Amen. Heaven sent in the world full of these Hellenists Amen. These Greek lovers, these genociders, these terrorists Woo. The book's burning, give us another exodus I wanna see my people prosper You know, we have ones that say Rastafari live in the city yeah. Kingston City, Manhattan, Manhattan yeah. New York, like I, <laughs> you know yeah. We live amongst our universal brothers and sisters And Rastafari is for each and every one So it's not, a, it's not this way old thing where you have to live in the forest, no. But you have ones that live in the forest and they hold an order for the ones like I and I who can come in now and hold our meds and come to these places and remove ourselves from that type of way and still come find our brothers in the midst of the jungle as well as in the city. Yeah, exactly. So it's a brotherhood throughout universe. Yeah, iPhones included, cameras included, yeah, cars yeah, included, yeah, planes, palaces, yes, huts, yes, rivers, yeah, yeah, ocean, yeah, 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 yeah. the whole thing. Huh? Yeah, and the thing about it to us is that Rastafari is not a cult. Yes? No. So we're not looking for more followers to say, hey, everyone have to come and be Rastafari. No, we're, we're looking at people and their hearts. We are all about love. <laughs> and so with this one, we have to give a disclaimer immediately because we're going to get into something that we usually don't speak about. We leave this for more intimate sessions, uh, or at least um, in places where uh, a lot of the... Uh, Sections of certain uh, parts of life are usually put into place where we have uh, certain mechanisms that, you know, will allow the space to be uh, the most beneficial for those who are the listeners or those who will be the audience for certain things such as these. But, you know, just a very interesting topic and one that has, you know, blown up, we should say, especially over the past decade or so maybe even decade or two, especially with a lot of the uh, legislation that has come uh, across. And, uh, you know, again, just uh, really uh, set a lot of uh, precedents for a lot of the things we are seeing out here in society. So, you know, with that said, and, um, you know, a bit of our own disclaimer here laid out, especially for this section of the URZ, We'd love to get into this article, just uh, an interesting one, just to say the least. And even so, again, giving a benchmark into where we are at this point in time and space, especially uh, prophetically. But here from the OZ Network, entitled, Want to Get Married in Egypt? Get Alimony Insurance First. Subtitled, Why You Should Care, the Arab world's most populous nation is taking dramatic steps to tackle the effects of a surging divorce rate and rising costs of living. By one Ahmed Mustafa, September 4th, 2019. And before we actually get into the reading here, we uh, would love to say a few more words on this note again. I mean, again, just mentioning that this uh, clearly will be an article set forth on what we know as um, courting or dating, mating, and relationships. We usually don't get into a lot of these subject matters. We leave that for ones to learn, uh, not only uh, independently, but, you know, if we really have um, such a need, I would say, for uh, certain things. And, you know, we usually always have our scriptures in one sense and also, you know, life experiences on one other note, but also, you know, leaving that to ones who are more professional in that sense, especially in matters of psychology, psych psychiatry, you know, and also, um, you know, just being good counselors in such sense. And that gives, you know, uh, a greater precedent for those to actually expound upon these subjects more than we. But in the sense, you know, we always have our scriptures to lean on 
And uh, even though uh, we've touched on a few of these subject matters before, especially with uh, the Rastafari Rabbi Wyndham Yadin and many others as well, you know, these things, you know, usually tend to come into play, you know, when things really have reached a climatic degree. And we would say that we have uh, at least are approaching that point at this very moment, especially in space and time during this particular year. And again, uh, as we said before, 2019 was sure to be a very interesting year, just to say the least. And so this has been um, such a hot button issue within so many communities. And it has stretched over so many walks of life that now it's, uh, in a sense, um, inignorable <laughs> at this point. You know, one just can't uh, turn away or actually, you know, look over this or mention that they will get to it at a later date, so on and so forth. And that's, um, you know, the state of uh, relationships, and this is mostly between uh, male and female, though, of course, you know, again, uh, just uh, setting the precedent again for this conversation of what we are seeing here with uh, all of the changes that have even come and uh, been placed, especially in the Western world, throughout this particular subject. And uh, just uh, taking a short glance at... Um, much of the uh, marriage rates and uh, the divorce rates as uh, juxtaposed to that. And on again, uh, seeing how the familial structure or the family base has been affected by that, you know, and this stretches across all, you know, uh, races, colors, creeds, religions, spirituality, so on and so forth. And on of course, uh, as we mentioned before, you know, we have uh, so many things that, um, we could reach into but you know for the sake of time we'll get into this article a very interesting one hopefully we'll be able to expound on this a bit more in video form so here going into the reading if you cannot afford divorce don't get married that's the philosophy egypt is turning to on the back of skyrocketing living costs and escalating divorce rates it's an approach that could be adopted more widely throughout a region not traditionally known for gender rights the number of Egyptian divorces rose by nearly 7% in 2018 to 211,500, up from 198,300 in 2017, according to the state-run Central Agency for Public Mobilization and Statistics. The divorce rate, meanwhile, has climbed since 2010 from 1.9 to 2.2 divorces for every 1,000 Egyptians in 2018. At the same time, the marriage rate is falling from just over 10 per thousand in 2016 to around 9 in 2018. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi's government is battling to fix the problem. Egyptian authorities are now trying to deploy a mandatory divorce insurance for all men looking to marry. The proposed law, drafted by Egypt's national financial regulator, is aimed to or at least aimed at ensuring that men can pay alimony to ex-wives in the event of divorce, whatever their economic condition. The bill, the latest in a set of moves the government is taking to address the spiraling divorce rate, is expected to pass in Parliament later this year. El Sisi has publicly called for an end to the practice of verbal divorce, whereby a man can end his marriage by simply saying to his wife, arguing that it's unfair for women. Ending the practice would help bring divorces down, experts say. Simultaneously, the Egyptian government, the country's Coptic church, and Cairo-based Al-Azhar University, the most respected seat of learning in Sunni Islam, has launched a program called Mawada, teaming up professors of law and religion with counselors and having them visit the country's universities. They're holding free workshops with young Egyptian men and women on campuses to give them tips on finding the right partner and about the challenges of making a marriage work. And the Egyptian government is pressing parliament to toughen the law against those men who don't pay alimony to their former wives. Men who don't pay alimony three months in a row face a month in jail, but that could be lengthened to a year and a fine of 500 Egyptian pounds, equivalent to $30 or 30 U.S. dollars under the proposed amendment. This amendment 
will put some divorced men in a tight corner, says Cairo-based lawyer Sabri abdel Kawi. Insurance policies to cover divorces, whether alimony or the cost of legal proceedings, exist in other countries, including the U.S., the U.K., and India. But Egypt could be the first nation to make it mandatory. And since the country is a leader in the Arab world, such a reform could lead to demand for similar policies in other countries in the region. Egyptians are struggling in the face of rising cost of living that are in part the consequences of austerity measures such as cuts in subsidies on fuel and other economic reforms introduced by the government and approved by the International Monetary Fund or the IMF. Since 2016, when the country's central bank made the currency float, the cost of living has more than doubled. The currency has halved in value from about 8 to 16 Egyptian pounds to the U.S. dollar. The move to make the currency float, along with cuts in subsidies, came on the back of a $12 billion loan agreement with the International Monetary Fund, or the IMF. The growing economic crisis has been blamed for contributing to Egypt's marital woes. Courts decide on the alimony amount under Egyptian personal status law, but it's never more than 40% of the man's monthly wage. And both the penalty for not paying alimony and its enforcement are widely considered to be weak. With the steps the Egyptian authorities are now planning, the gender scales could become more balanced. Without the divorce insurance policy, any default from men would be a misfortune for women and children, says Sheikh Salem Abdel Galil, a former undersecretary in Egypt's Ministry of Waqis. At the same time, it could help men pay court-ordered alimony if the value of their wages continues to drop. Saeed Razak is a 32-year-old carpenter, now without a permanent job who must pay 2,800 Egyptian pounds, equivalent to 168 U.S. dollars every month, to his former wife and kids. I had to sell my motorbike, said a frustrated Razak. I don't want to remarry. For sure, unanswered questions and some opposition cloud these moves by the Egyptian government. Regarding the president's hopes of banning the verbal divorce, Al-Azhar insists that Sharia and Islamic law, or Islamic law in that sense, allows such an end to marriages. Men often stall alimony proceedings in courts using their lawyers, says Saad Badawi, another Cairo-based lawyer. It's unclear how a tougher law or the mandatory insurance will reduce these delays. If the cost of living keeps rising, the value of whatever alimony women receive will shrink even with the new laws. When Siham Abdullah, a 35-year-old mother of three children, got divorced four years ago, a court awarded her 500 Egyptian pounds in monthly alimony. But the value of that amount has more than halved since then. She spends the monthly alimony in a week. She says, I have to work as a salesperson to cover my children's needs, says Abdullah, adding that price hikes and schooling costs mean she's now looking for a second job. And it's unclear how the mandatory insurance law would work if a husband skips the payment of his premium amount, says Badawi. What are the guarantees, he asks. These conditions should be clearly outlined. But even he concedes that while making alimony insurance mandatory is not everything, it is a good step in a country with a growing diverse divorce burden. And Galil, the former government bureaucrat, is convinced that the move is also sound under Sharia law, an argument central to whether other Muslim nations adopt Egypt's approach. The ultimate objective of Sharia, he says, is to protect the weak, who are the women and children. And so that uh, concludes the reading of this article, and again, a very interesting one. And again, just uh, taking a glance at... Um, Many of the marriage rates, especially here in the West, in this uh, particular country, the United States of America, we, um, you know, would be remiss to say that um, 
uh, things that have held steady, especially with a lot of the litigation and uh, legislation that has come forward. I mean, and again, a lot of the social issues, the social climate has changed. And even so, uh, speaking of this particular administration here today, we can clearly see how things have taken a great and wide turn. You know, some might say for the worse, others may say for the better, depending on um, the situation at hand, uh, things tend to uh, linger or even pendulum swing to the right or to the left in that sense, uh, proverbially speaking. But um, having those things in place and uh, seeing what we are seeing out here in the world and also knowing what we know prophetically from our own study of scripture, not only our own, but many others as well, even so to Islam and many other uh, religions or spiritual walks of life, you know, uh, either that be the Taoist or the Taoist, uh, uh, the Hinduist or the Buddhist, you know, what have you, we tend to, again, see those uh, silver linings and a lot of the spiritual systems that, you know, kind of give word to a lot of what we are seeing here today. But of course, within our own scriptures, uh, of course, the Torah, the Orit, in that sense, we uh, tend to get more clarity, or at least that's where we find uh, most of our solace and also most of our understanding in that sense. And again, leaning on uh, the teachings of his majesty in that sense, we, you know, I would say that we are the most prepared to see what we are seeing and actually deal with it in a more calm state. But that's uh, only on a personal note. So we would hope that ones also will look into a lot more of these uh, statistics, also into, you know, of course, their own daily lives and um, kind of recall a lot of the things that they have been seeing going on in and around them, especially in their neighborhoods and uh, their own communities, you know, and to the greater extent, their own countries for that sense, because this is not just something that uh, clearly, as we have read from uh, the article here is something that is uh, designated to the West in that sense. And um, a lot of things tend to be explained, you know, more so uh, vividly when ones are able to recognize it for themselves with their own very eyes. So that uh, sticks out in a sense. And um, again, uh, with all of this information coming to us at such a rapid rate, and again, um, us just having, um, you know, a little bit of the foresight, you know, we are... You know, no profit by no means in that sense, but, um, you know, at least studying, you know, the true prophets of that sense, or at least those we deem to be the true prophets, we definitely uh, have a sense of um, level-headedness, we, we would say, in uh, seeing a lot of these things come to fruition and also come into play. And also keeping in mind, uh, again, uh, the statistic and studying them very uh, strategically and also meticulously, you know, when we have the opportunity, as that sense, uh, between marriage rates and divorce rates and the effects on the family structure, you know, whether that be uh, in the West um, or in the East, uh, either way, you know, we uh, tend to recognize certain things here or there, pinpoint, uh, take our own notes and uh, study from there to actually gain more clarity. And even though I'm speaking on this sense, uh, we know, or at least um, we have an idea that um, we heard from many ones that, of course, uh, you know, the new uh, U.S. Census data should be coming out very soon or at least um, being recorded as we speak and will be released around the year 2020. Those who know, I think that the, um, uh, or at least from what we remember, uh, the census uh, data collection uh, information usually is taken and released in a 10-year period. If, um, you know, so don't quote I and I on that, but at the same time, we know that there is uh, a time-space continuum where uh, certain uh, senses are taken. And even so, you know, we can relate that again to our scriptures <laughs> as, you know, just uh, things that, you know, have come, you know, to us, you know, in this world from uh, ancient times. So, you know, again, uh, uh, life goes in cycles, uh, themes go in cycles, uh, learning curves go in cycles. So all of these things are very cyclical in nature, and also um, this time that we are living in, it just so happens to be a very critical time and a very crucial matter that has come up, you know, in many conversations, and not only in the mainstream media, but across the board throughout all walks of life. So one should definitely keep that in mind, and also just uh, alerting ones uh, on a specific subject here that we don't speak too much about. So hopefully, you know, ones will uh, kind of pay a little more attention to certain things such as these as well. 
but uh, as always, uh, keeping things on an up and up and moving on throughout our podcast. Hopefully, ones you know will continue to check us out here as always. So that's like you were talking about. It's just a pride um, to be from that part of Africa. There's a there's a big pride, and even Jamaicans and and Rastafarians, if that's the way you say it, Rastafari, yeah. they they identify with. The, the, the culture of Ethiopia and Eritrea mm-hmm. just based on the fact that it was never colonized. But that's a whole nother convo that, you know, they got experts that we gotta be real careful about because they'll check us on our facts. But no. Nah. right handed Jesus, fly like an eagle, fight with these demons, shall light on my people, 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 on my people, on my people, on my people.